Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Crypto Mining Insider. Today, I'm extremely happy that we're going to be building a new ASUS mining rig. After months and months of work and a lot of hunting, I can finally declare victory. I was able to get my hands on eight ASUS RTX 30 series cards. I have three 3060 Ti's, four ASUS Tough 3070's, and the king of our rig is going to be a 3080 Rogue Strix card. This rig should be able to mine Ethereum at 520 mega hash and make us over 30 bucks a day. A real powerhouse. Let's get started. Okay, starting at our build today, we're going to be using an ASRock H1110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. It's a mining motherboard. It's a workhorse, and it's meant for doing this. My favorite part is it has 13 GPU slots, so you have extensibility. It also uses low-power Intel CPUs, because that's all you need for GPU mining. They're very reliable, they're very flexible, and main thing is, is they're robust and they keep working. I choose to add additional memory when I'm building a rig. So I put eight gig of memory on there so it can support Windows without any problems. I also choose to use SATA drives because I can quickly flip between Hive OS or Windows. Now with eight GPUs, we're gonna need a lot of power. We're gonna actually need more than one power supply can readily handle. So we're gonna be using two power supplies today. We have an EVGA 850GQ, and that's a very high efficiency 850 watt PSU with extra uh, PCIe ports on it but our main one is going to be a 1300 watt EVGA Supernova G2 this is a gold rated power supply but it's actually probably closer to platinum from what I'm reading on the specs it runs very reliably and very quiet but you may ask wait two power supplies how do I do that that's not normal so we're going to have to use a 24 pin special PSU dual PSU to motherboard cable and it lets us cohesively connect the two power supplies together and go into the motherboard and the two power supplies work it together as one in unison. You'll see some other things on our workbench like PCIe splitters, risers, keyboards, but let's go over to our rigs. If we're looking at one of our rigs that we're already running right now, it you can see it has its own screen as well as miniature keyboard. I like the ability to work remote as well as be able to be independent and work directly at a rig. But let's focus back on our mining rig that we're about to build. We have eight graphic cards, so we're going to have to use something new, which is called a PCIe, aka known as a GPU riser. We have all these PCIe ports, but how do we connect eight cards? It won't fit, so we kind of need an extension cord. By using a GPU riser, it allows, it allows us to connect the graphic card to the, to the top on the riser, as well as plug it into the motherboard. And this lets us spread out the graphic cards from the motherboard, but yet them still all work together as you'll see as we're going to put together in the video coming up. An important point I'd like to mention is that a lot of PCIe or GPU risers use other power mechanisms, whether it's SATA or Molex. I only use PCIe to power them because it's the best and safest that's available right now. It's important to have a whole rig working together cohesively. It's the power, it's the GPUs, it's the CPU, everything working together harmoniously that's going to make a good rig. If we look at our rig, we're going to put a power supply on the left and one on the right and a motherboard in the middle. We're going to rack graphic cards across the top and we still have some room on the bottom left and right to add some additional graphic cards in the future of additional growth. Let's get started.
Okay, so now let's take a look. We've got the base foundation of our rig set up. We have our motherboard right here, memory, the CPU, and our primary cables, the SATA, uh, Molex. Mm -hmm. We've also just installed a seven inch screen so we can work at the computer directly and not have to be remote and a convenience of a miniature keyboard. So that's phase one is set for the build. An important part thing to look at now is the, how we connect the powers as we showed with the dual PSU to motherboard adapter. The 24 pin adapter allows us to connect the two of them and then those two power supplies will turn on and off together. We've pre-installed Windows on the hard drive. Let's boot it up and make sure the computer works before we proceed any further. Windows is booted up now fine, which shows we have a working computer. I really appreciate having the miniature screen and keyboard right built onto the rig so I can be very hands-on while I'm there. I don't have to back and forth and play with things remote. So Now that that part's done, we see a lot of PCIe ports on both of the power supplies. We're going to be working to add the GPU risers and powering them. Let me open one up. So that's a PCIe riser. We're going to be layering them across the top. We're going to have eight for this build, but we're going to be powering them using the PCIe power directly. We don't use any of the SATA or Molex connectors to power them. PCIe powering is the safest way to do it. Let's get started putting them on now. Okay, once we got the rig assembled now, it's really important to spend some extra time doing some wire management. I like to use these reusable Velcro ties that lets you take them on, put them off, take them on, add wires, take them on, put them off, where if I'm using zip ties, they work, but I have to cut them and redo them all the time. This is much easier to do. I use it all over my rig. It lets get me much cleaner wire management. So it's extremely important to do the wire management. If we look at the top of the rig, you could see a few extra minutes goes a long way in creating a much cleaner, safer, and more stable mining rig. If the wires pull out at any time, it'll typically cause a rig to crash or blue screen, and if you're not able to mine, then it may go for hours undetected if you don't notice this, but putting a little bit of extra time goes a very, very far away. Let's move on to the fans. Here we've gotten some, purchased some 120 millimeter fans, and we use a quick zip tie uh, way to connect them together a bunch of them and we now we have to decide sometimes we want them facing out sometimes we want them facing in depending upon how we want the airflow for this rig build though too i'm going to be pushing a lot of hot air i'm going to have a fan behind the whole rig itself so we're going to be pushing air from behind it we're going to want to pulling the air out warm air out the front to get that air off of the graphic cards okay so now that we have the fans put in 120 millimeter 
to put him backwards actually because we want to pull the air hot air out the front but the most important thing i just want to reiterate again is is that have a clean wire management using those either zip ties or velcro reusable pieces it's everything is cable tied together super clean if anything shifts the rig stays stable and that's what we want we ultimately want to be able to keep the rig stable so pull the heat away from the rigs with these fans now this fan is really cool i like it it has this cool remote lets you change the colors or settings i kind of figured it out one day okay so we got the rig started up now we have all eight cards mining right now we're actually for simplicity we're just using nice hash on windows you can see we have 97 59 59 59 59 59 on um Dagger hash, as well as the other cars, we have 59, 59, 59. We, we're going to play with the overclocks a little bit more until we get a full 100 or more and on the 3080 and get at least 60 to 61 on the 3070 and the 3060 Ti. So it's a success. Eight Aces cards running with a Strix is our anchor card, the king of the rig. All cleanly done. So we are running with 520 mega hash right now on ethereum and if we want to go over and just see our power drill right now we are pulling just over 13 1320 watts so thank you so much everyone for watching our video and we're glad you could share in this journey with us we have one two three four five six seven eight aces cards running 520 mega hash, running great, wires are great. The RGB, I must say, I really love these new lights here. So do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe. We're gonna be showing rigs, all types of hardware, all types of mining rigs. 